I would like to welcome to Mia Murray, Vice President, who will lead the graduates in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you, to Mia. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Tamia. At this time, you may sit. Good evening. Rossetti, the superintendent director of Blue Hills. Welcome, parents, family, and friends of the graduating class of 22. I would like to mention a few items. Chapter 71 of the Education Reform Law prohibits smoking on school property. Please turn off or silence all cell phones. We ask that everyone stay behind the fence and roped off areas at all times. We appreciate your cooperation. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Eric Erskine, Chairman of the District School Committee, who will address the graduates. Thank you, Ms. Rossetti. I'd like to welcome Walter Timothy, representative, attending school committee members, faculty, and there are a lot of them here today, it's nice to see. Family and friends, and especially you, the class of 2022. I would like to start off with a few definitions of the word warrior. A person engaged in some struggle or conflict. A person who has shown great vigor and courage. Thank you. You came to the school leaving a lot of classmates behind in your rage. And yet, you persevered. You came to the new school in the midst of a renovation where there were obstacles and detours all around. And yet, you persevered. You lived through a pandemic, studying from home, hybrid, and eventually coming back to school, full-time wearing masks, living with the fear of being the next one to be sick, and yet you perse persevered. You saw loved ones, family, and friends become sick, and through it all, you managed to stay strong, keep up with your schooling, and earn a seat on this field today. You lived and studied through all those struggles and conflicts while showing great vigor and courage. You are the warriors. Please take this time, turn around, give a wave, throw a kiss to your parents, family, friends, and teachers, for they are the ones that help you get here. At this time, I would like to acknowledge a few people. First and foremost, I would like to thank Dave Galigo, the facilities director and the staff for setting up this event in making tonight possible. <laughs> to Ms. Rossetti and the faculty and staff of the Blue Hills who gave their all and then some 
through these rough times. For, for all parents and guardians that help keep their students committed to the schooling while working from home, and a special acknowledgement to a student who showed so much love, compassion, and appreciation for family, friends, and faith, well, life in general. His reports to the, the school committee meetings were always very informative and uplifting. We will all miss Noel's nuggets of knowledge. Would the student representative please stand, Mr. President, and be acknowledged. Thank you. To all the students that are going in to serve our great country and protect us from harm, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. To all veterans and all, uh, I'm sorry, to all veterans and service members, please stand, be recognized. Thank you, and God bless America. Amen. All public and all teachers and essential workers, thank you. You came to Blue Hills four years ago looking for two things, a good ed education, in a, a career, a vocational career. And I hope we met all those expectations and given you the direction that you will need to go into the workforce, go further on into college, or whatever life has in mind for you. Whatever, whatever direction you pursue, take along the knowledge you have learned at Blue Hills, the vigor and courage you have shown be committed in what you do. This will bring you success. Follow your heart, your heart and dreams. Enjoy what you do. Show love and compassion in what you do. This is when you'll find true success. Yep. On behalf of the school committee, good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Sorry, one more thing. Let's get this party started because tonight is your celebration. Thank you, Mr. Erskine. Valedictory address, please welcome Mr. Kyle Grasso and Mr. Ryan Smaller. Class valedictorians who will deliver their valedictory addresses. All right. Good evening, faculty, family, and fellow graduates. Here we are. Everything in the last four years has led up to this very moment. We have come a long way, leaving our sending towns as freshmen starting new vocational programs, dealing with the school shutdown and worldwide pandemic, as well as completing the typical work of a typical high school student. And for this, we should all be proud of ourselves. When I was, <laughs> when I was younger, graduating as co-valedictorian was nothing but an unattainable pipe dream. Something did have to be the very best in every class, even those that weren't personally as interesting to me. I'd like to say that it was some wonderful personal development skill I was able to tap into, but I think that the majority of that came from the fact that I had such phenomenal teachers. 
I would like to thank every single academic teacher I've had over the last four years for always being there to stay after school, to assist with figuring out proper study methods, or even to help something not related to class, like a college personal statement. I was consistently in the most difficult classes Blue Hills had to offer, but the sublime instruction I received from all of my teachers made those classes easier. I also was fortunate enough to be able to find my passion and my vocation, criminal justice. As with the phenomenal guidance of Mrs. Mack and Mr. Welch, I not only found that passion, but I developed it and plan to follow it for the next number of decades through college and into my future career. I feel that the fact I was studying something I truly was passionate about every other week helped me tremendously with my motivation to do well in every class. Lastly, I would like to express gratitude to Mrs. O'Reilly, my guidance counselor, for always being there to talk and for assisting me with my college process, which I know I wouldn't have been able to figure out on my own. But that's just it, though. We never were going to be typical high school students. From the moment we all decided to leave our respective towns and go here, we set ourselves up for opportunities that not nearly enough high school students choose to take advantage of. As vocational students, we have a definitive advantage as we head into college, the military, and the workforce. We didn't spend four years studying reading, writing, and math. No, we studied trades and developed skills and passions a class from Blue Hills graduates with is remarkable. And even if you aren't pursuing the trade you were in for the last four years further, any success you find can still be attributed to the workplace and professional skills taught in every single program at the school. In closing, as someone who is aspiring to be an attorney, I think that this quote from former United States Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy applies to all of us. Only those who dare to fail greatly can ever achieve greatly. Kennedy said this in the early 60s, and this message is absolutely still relevant to this day, specifically to all those who have ever or will ever come to Blue Hills. Learning a trade or a new skill is a risk, and we are exposing ourselves to the possibility of failure every day, and likely all have failed at some point in the last four years. Same goes for academics and sports. These failures, however, are what develop each and every one of us the most. Failure truly is the best motivation for success, and the greatest opportunities for success always come with the highest risk of failure. To all of the class of 2022, risk some failure in the next few years. Don't be afraid of it, and don't doubt your abilities in any area, even slightly. We've pushed through so much already that to the point where this diploma has become symbolic of an absolute victory against intense adversity. If we can claim this victory, we can claim many, many more. There is nowhere for any of us to go but onwards and upwards. Thank you. All right, before I give this speech, I would like to say I am very grateful to be given off the opportunity, but it's been a wonderful four years, everyone. Good luck. As I stand at this podium tonight, I am met with many faces, teachers, parents, friends, and of course, 220 graduating seniors. And to all of you, I would like to start talking about something we all have in common. When we first arrived at this school four years ago, unlike our peers from our sending towns, we simply didn't have the luxury of being placed yet in our vocational programs or having a lots of friends to rely on. And this was subsequently the hardest part of high school for a lot of us. For me, every stroke of pencil on paper every tap of a key on a keyboard, every submit button I clicked. I came in feeling alone through all of it. The only associations I had with anyone were nominal. I was the smart guy, the nerd, the robot, and so on. However, what they should have been calling me is the shy guy. I could have written this speech about how I took all higher level classes or studied alone a lot to get where I am, but I think it's more important for me to remind everyone who knows me this way, that I am not a person unlike every graduate standing in front of me tonight. It took a lot for me to come to Blue Hills alone and stay, as most of you can relate. We left behind the security of our friendships, routine, or just following those ahead of us. Like you, I have developed aspirations, bonds, and emotions that affect and drive who I am because I came to Blue Hills. I remember the first time I heard my classmate call me the derogatory term of number one, referring to my class rank. 
and as a freshman sitting in class, that sort of hurt. My confidence was not already very strong freshman year, and I was petrified of talking to anyone, let alone making my name for myself. The only thing that started to change that was what I believed to be the most important decision in my four years of high school, my vocation. I knew long before coming into high school that I wanted to do something involving technology, especially computer technology or electronics. Unironically, freshman exploratories were rather uneventful for me with the exception of one, computer information systems. It was as if I were fated to be in that shop. I found myself anxiously wondering what would happen when everything was set in stone. When I finally entered the computer tech classroom, I think Ms. Coterio will appreciate my use of imagery here, but I felt the black veil over my soul had been lifted, finally allowing spring moonlight to sparkle off of it. The uncertainty and fear of winter were washed away by the sunlight that my future friends had given off in that room. I felt so eager to absorb everything in front of me because it was all so fascinating and invigorating to know that I was learning so much while enjoying myself at the same time. Without question, it was the best decision I have ever made. And it certainly made high school a lot easier in the long run. I fell into my shop routine, and I realized that the name calling was an asset. Nothing worthwhile is easy, though, and the road to success is never a smooth one. The biggest bump in the road for me, as I am sure with most other people in this class, was COVID, which began for us not too long after getting into our shops, lasting our sophomore and junior years of high school. COVID almost completely reset any progress that us shy people made. And in the eyes of someone who is just learning how to talk to people and develop a personality, one of the worst things that could happen did. Being stuck in a house with the same few people while everyone was stuck in front of a camera where we were not really able to do anything except sit silently for six hours every day was very limiting. And it gave me no way of practicing socialization because the only people I could really talk to were the same three people. That meant returning to in-person learning was crucial for me to change anything. And after having a summer to recharge, I charged into senior year with the hope that I would finally have an opportunity to turn myself around. This year, my wish was granted. I met many new faces, I connected with other faces I had not seen in a long time, and I took a chance. I was no longer the shy guy. And to the people that I have had not had the opportunity to connect to, I say hello. My name is Ryan Smaller, and it is a pleasure to finally stand here in front of all of you. If anyone hears this speech, I hope it is everyone who has not met me before. I want to tell you that every single one of you is able to change your lives for the better. And doing so often requires to learning to be a better and more sociable person rather than becoming more studious or intelligent, which is exactly what happened to me. In other words, my story is not about improving as a student. It is about improving as a person to be able to overcome every obstacle that stands in your way, whether it be academic, COVID complications, or otherwise. With that said, I think I've covered everything I want to cover, so it is time for me to wrap up. And I would like to do so by saying I am only able to stand in, front of, uh, in this stage in front of all of you right now because of the friendships and bonds I have forged since coming here, including my fellow valedictorian, the student council president, my excellent academic teachers, my friends in my academic classes, my friends in shop, my wonderful bus driver, Jane, who I hope is here with us, um, and of course, my amazing vocational teachers, who I'd like to give a round of applause for, Mr. Conahan, Ms. Bowman, and Ms. Sullivan. <laughs> oh. Never mind, bad idea. All right. <laughs> Thank you to all of you for being there when I needed it most. I would not be here without you. More importantly, though, Thank you for seeing that we are not just students. We are BHR vocational students who are going off into the military, college, and even into lifetime careers. I am proud to stand in front of my friends, the class of 2022. We are all the smart guys, the nerds, the robots, the shy guys. But we do so proudly and as the valedictorians of our own futures. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kyle and Ryan. Class gift, Ms. Tamia Murray, Vice President. Come on up.
Okay, hi, my name is Tamia. I'm the vice president of class of 2022. And I'm here to tell you what we're gonna do with the remaining money from our class. So we're gonna be giving it to the juniors, sophomores, and incoming freshman class because we didn't use the rest of our money. So that's where it's gonna go. Wow, Alyssa, you're really gonna do this to me? Okay, okay. So I'm really proud of each and every single one of you guys. You know, even if we haven't had a chance to talk, like bond or whatever, um, I'm really proud of you guys. You guys will always have a little special place in my heart. I see you crying, Wadley. Don't cry. <laughs> yeah, I put you on blast. It's okay. But I know you guys are going to do well in your future going into the Marines, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard, and then going into the workforce or going into college. I just want to say, you know, I love you guys and I hope you guys do well. Thank you. Thank you, Tamia. I would like to introduce Mr. Noel Hill, class president, who will now give the farewell address. Hello, everybody. Good evening, everyone. It's such a privilege to be up here. I'm going to go a little off script. I hope you guys do not mind. But the last four years have been very off script. So I'm just going to go ahead, all right? Before I begin, with the breath that I breathe on this stage, I must first give all the glory to God, who was the head, joy, and utmost strength of my life. I magnify him for giving me eternal hope and liberty. Without Jesus and the power in his name, I would not be who I am or where I am today. And for that, I'll never be ashamed. <laughs> Woo! I already feel much lighter. Let's go. Woo! All right. I give greetings to our exceptional Blue Hills faculty, alumni, the district school committee. Love you guys. <sighs> <laughs> Class of 2022 students of eminence, it is my tremendous honor and privilege to celebrate this 59th annual commencement ceremony with you all. This isn't your cliche like Hollywood graduation speech where the lighting is at the utmost perfection and everyone suddenly breaks out in a choreographed dance number. That's not this. In Hollywood, guys have raised their sharp jaw lines, heights with the same numerical value of their GPAs and muscles on their muscles, on their muscles. I don't have any of that, that's all right. Maybe that'll change by the time we have our reunion, hopefully so. However, in this real world setting where we're faced with real stress, anxiousness, and expectations to overcome, I present this farewell address as a testimony of not just a person, but an entire class who has made it through. So let's give ourselves a round of applause real fast. Let's go friends, yeah! We all gather today as our separate entities, unified as one body to congratulate the efforts of the class of 2022. Our class is seated here today as the products of many, because as awesome and talented as we are, mm, we couldn't have done this all by ourselves. This group of seniors in our entire generation owes this significance and, um, to the um, guidance and contributions from everyone in the proximity of this field, as well as those who've supported us students from afar. Our class discovered our vocational points of interest with abundant help from cool adults who weren't afraid to invest into 220 to 230 sweaty and snappy teenagers. Words can't convey the appreciation we have for the voluntary love and sacrifice shown on our behalves. From the prodigious shop teachers who have trained and supported us towards our vocational victories and certifications, to our academic teachers with their unfathomable patience, to every teacher and custodian who has put up with our figurative and literal mess. We love all of you guys. However, we highlight and elevate the class of 2022 today. I love this class with every, every part of my being, considering that I weigh like 72 pounds. That doesn't sound like too much. 
But from the moments we set foot on this campus 75 months ago as prepubescent twerps, drawing an axe body spray and low self-esteem, to today, we've matured, advanced, and have had lots of marvelous moments through our high school home, Blue Hills. During our times as students here, we found more personality and identity tiles aiding the assembly of the mosaic of life. The likes and the dislikes, the trying to the young adults we strive to be. Even if that meant accidentally drinking digestive cleansing tea on the first day of online classes, my attendance in class wasn't the only thing that went south that day. Ugh. It's unhealthy how much joy I feel as I observe this body of eager Blue Hill scholars robed in their brilliant blue caps and gowns. When I say unhealthy, I mean Bubba Bass's order from SpongeBob SquarePants unhealthy. It's, it's real. Various creeds and backgrounds reminds me of how unique we are from graduating classes of the past. We've overcome obstacles of social injustice, mandatory remote learning, and headache-inducing standards of society, all while balancing homework, extracurriculars, and keeping up with the Johnny Depp case. If we can overcome the first pandemic to redefine what we've called normal in over 100 years, what can we do? Well, after four years in high school, we apparently can't remember to bring a Chromebook charger or iPhone charger to class once. You're welcome. Ah! <laughs> anyway, such a diligent, determined, and grounded group is literally one in a million, and I'm standing right before them. Oh, without a shadow of a doubt, I can brag about this class for hours upon hours without ever getting exhausted. All the accolades, rewards, diplomas, hugs and kisses that you'll be receiving today aren't artificial, but are a well-deserved expression of honor for all the hard valleys that you've conquered, like rigid deadlines, road test, stopping yourself from buying the 80th Red Bull of the week from Mary Lou's. <laughs> you know that heartbreaking moment when your fresh from factory, crisp iPhone 13 Pro Max falls flat on its face on the concrete, and parents, I don't know where you are, but if you'd like to buy me one that's on the table, uh, your soul has like a McDonald's Sprite moment. It just leaves your body like, whoa. Mm. But you pick up that phone, carefully anxious about the result, and it happens to be safe and sound. Adulthood will alarmingly hit us the same way and wake us up like a mother, cleaning and blasting gospel music at 7 a.m. on a Saturday morning. It'll be sudden, and there's no doubt that growing up is unnerving and scary territory, but our resilience structure and slips from unimaginable heights. When we lift up that phone screen to find zero flaws, we realize that it wasn't just sheer luck that we're still in one piece. We will still be intact because of the faithful investments deposited into our lives. Leading up to these last four years of Blue Hills, we thank our parents for instilling discipline and respect into our hearts as individuals. And I'm gonna get a little dignified for a second. I would love and love, love, love to thank my father and my mother, Easton and Celia Hill, for just watching me grow and supporting me through it all. You guys are everything to me. I love my parents. You've seen me grow from a boy that had less power and friends than the pebble on the gym floor to becoming a two-time class president in high school out of nowhere. I'm so honored to stand and represent the Hill family as I carry our apostolic Christian and Jamaican heritage with faithfulness. I would like to thank my incredible siblings, Jaren and Alex, for acting as the only outlets for me to release my anger and rage into. And DeAndre, thank you for being normal wherever you are. <laughs> Thank you to our administrators for being so merciful as you watched me bounce rambunctiously, screaming about the goodness of God as you nodded and said, that's it. My two shop teachers, Mr. Sheehan and Mr. McGrath, I love you both so much. Thank you for investing into me for the last three and a half years. You both are amazing, incredible individuals. And my best friend, but thank you for being such an amazing, incredible, powerful teenager that has guided me through the last year. Oh, there we go. I feel better. Yeah. This day consists of the same 24 years, or 24 hours, oh my goodness, as any ordinary day, yet it carries an astonishing amount of weight and is more than a 72-pound Jamaican kid. Oh, class of 2022, today unimaginable destinies and dreams become one step closer to achievability. Today, hundreds of thousands of gateways will open as our graduating class pursues our separate areas of concentration. Today, I'll bawl my eyes out as I say my see you later to the friends that drove me to near insanity. I can't help but reminisce over the moments between today and September of 2018 that I've to, oh God, God of glory, hallelujah. <laughs> That'll just stay there, we're good. <laughs> that have developed our class into the world changers of tomorrow. 
Bolting around the calf, giving Oreo P7 Bible studies as we held hands and blessed our lunches. Joking about Nikolai, the Russian spy, coding on his high-tech computer as we played paper volleyball. Hashtag drafting's the best shot. Come on now. Uh, everyone screaming like crazy when we saw cosmetology heads go flying like footballs in the shop hallway. Despite the ups and downs, positive and negative COVID tests, we had a phenomenal, exceptional four years attending the school. I wouldn't trade it for the world, but that was the past. Today, a big, bold Sharpie marker on the timeline of life. But that mark also indicates the beginning of the infinite possibilities lying on the other end of the stage. But how you respond to what happens next is up to you. So go out there, persist in all that you do. Give something for the next generation to be proud of. And lastly, learn to love everyone until it hurts. Everybody. Because when everything hurts, all that will fix it is love. And God, of course. Oh. Jesus loves you. Bungee gum contains both the properties of rubber and gum. And if my future children are watching, tell mom that you like dad better. Thank you all. Love you guys. And God bless the class of 2022. Yeah! Thank you so much, Noel. Mr. Chairman, it now gives me great pleasure to present to you the class of 2022. Who have successfully completed their academic and technical requirements for graduation and therefore are awarded this high school diploma. Students who graduate with honors have received a B or better yearly average in all classes for four years. <laughs> Students who graduate with high honors have received an A yearly average in all classes for four years. Please hold your applause until the end. All the graduates have received their diplomas. Noel Easton Hill of Drafting CAD. Tamia Alicia Murray with honors from drafting CAD. I'm so proud of you, both of you. Automotive collision repair and refinishing, Adam Kosum Al Janabi. You can shake my hand, I don't mind. <laughs> Timothy Michael Capson. Lauren Elizabeth Lynch. Matthew Russell McPhail. Thomas Michael Menino III. James Michael Mullen. Marcus Robert Sadowski. Helen Trong. Automotive Technology. Francis Michael DeGloria. Maritza Talia Donovan with honors. Nicole Emily Keo with honors. Zaylin Rodriguez Lopez with honors. 
Kwan Uriel David Linshu. Christopher Lee Rand. Nyla Rivera. Carter Paul Joseph Souser. Thomas Justin Taylor. Computer Information Services and Networking, working, excuse me. Anthony Vincent Apramalo with honors. Bryant Stein Bueno. Matthew Christopher DeRome. Presented by his father, the town manager, Mr. Brian Hardwood, Brian Edward Howard. Quaylen Emmanuel Jones. James A. Lindley. Thomas Patrick McHugh, Jr. with honors. Ryan Kenneth Noble with honors. Stephen Kent Sylvia. Ryan J. Smaller with high honors. Madison McKenna Widener. Construction Technology, Charles Parker Abbott. David Anthony Baud. Joseph Salvatore Di Caligero. Jasmine Brianna Faust. Tyler Anthony Ford. Brittany Almeida Gomez. Brady Eric Graff. Nicole Amanda Nitla. Bella Viola Prisco. Christian Rodriguez. Kyle. Charles Smith. Michael Thomas Toscano. Kai David Vaughn. Matthew Scott Watunsky. Cosmetology, Trinity Irene Bennett. Yeah. 
Alayla Kendra Campbell. Samantha Louise Cull. Wadlene Levinsky. Carolyn Marie Kelleher Maycomer. Ava May Masoni. Gabriella Elizabeth Maldaver. <laughs> Casey Yun K. O'Keefe with honors. <laughs> Sonia Maria Sanxarides. Kayla Sanaya Simpson. Kali Sue Wagner. Shade Zamor. Ayana Shade Brown. Criminal Justice, Joseph DiGiacomo with honors. Kyle Joseph Grosso with honors, high honors, excuse me. Liberty Amaya Sage Hull. John Joseph Ayurati. <laughs> Alyssa Michelle Jusants. <laughs> Eric Robert Mann. Ethan Alexander Mann with honors. Devin Michael Rideout. Sierra Marie Runyon. Allison Teresa Salvucci. Dominic Spano with honors. Connor Troy Zafrakopoulos with honors. Christine Michelle Berrio. Culinary Arts. Colleen Patricia Cahill with honors. Christian Michael Carey. Olivia May Donahoe. Connor Thomas Durant. Brianna Lee Grasso with honors. John Zachary Hall. Diana Nicole Pierre. Jacaley Marie Germain Pierre. Josephine Simuela Rafino. Shane Isaac Rourke. Yeah. 
Caitlin Eleanor Sawyer. Sarah Maria Jose Stubbs. Andrew Cole Thorne. Anna Joyce Coughlin of DVC, our Design and Visual Communications. Luana Ventura De Paula. Cheyenne Alexa Fee Hall. Caroline Julieta Flanagan. Yasmin Arwen Hyverinen. Isabella Noel Leonard with honors. Lindsay Ann McCormick with honors. Ashlyn Ryan McPhee. Jared Tyler Newcomb. Coleman Joseph O'Brien. Ariane Bright Brielle Rank. Andon Sean Ricard. Drafting CAD. Jocelyn Jeanette Ayoko. Thomas James Bender. Jake Brooks Butler. Erica Rose Sismar with honors. James Gakaya. Cameron Michael Gallant. Davidino Giampa. Victoria Rose Lupica. Anderson Silva with honors. Antonio Soto. William Spano. David Michael Verissimo. Early Education and Care. Kayla Christian Anastasio. Elmir Sumara Basson. Ayana Sanea Burris. Mariana Fernandez. Allison Grace Joyce. Jessica Gail Mullen with honors. Abigail Vanessa Myrtle. Cynthia Tron with honors. Electrical Technology, Damian August. Edward Duncan Bassler. Ryan Nicholas Chandler. Joseph Agro Diacentis. 
Ethan Thomas DeMeo. This diploma will be presented by our district school committee chair, uh, district school committee member Thomas Polito of Dedham to Joseph Martin Flanagan. <laughs> Anthony Michael Graziano. <laughs> You're welcome. Darian Nicholas Grindle with honors. Isaiah James Cabral Mengel with honors. Liam Anthony McHool. Brianna Emma McLean. Tiago Nascimento. Nathan Henry Pyres with honors. Andrew David Poole with honors. Christopher James Sarno. Dylan Augustine, and this begins electronics. Benjamin Daniel Canny. Jean Sebastian Fontil. Alessandro Daniel Gomez. Lauren Marie Graham. Aiden James Inglis. Rashid Calvin John. Carleen Anita LaFail. Jonathan Henry Longville. Brendan Stephen McCormick with honors. Christopher Michael Morrow with honors. Elijah James O'Connor Dufresne. Spiros Nicholas Papadikis. Engineering Technology. Sean Robert Burnick. Markins Charles. Zenon Sotsia Ang with honors. Jacob Jonah Mata. Elizabeth Louise Moore. Pixley Simon showed up. Okay. Patrick Christian Nimiskern. Shane Michael O'Neill McDermott. Alex Jose Reyes. Pixley Simon. Morgan Lee Welch. Kayla, Natalie, Alphonse, and this begins graphic communications. Brianna Dominica Baker. Dylan Michael Bollier. Alexandra Rose Graham. Emma Christine Henderson. Sydney Maya Jackson with honors. Hainara Serge Mazarin with honors. Yeah. 
Isaiah Angel Mejia. Bernardo Merlo Serna. Alana Rose Packard. Fiona Jane Quinn. Evan Juan Sino Sencio. Junior Jackson Thomas Joinus. Alexander Louise Zavatsky with honors. Health assisting, Caitlin Ann Blaney. Lauren Teresa Callahan. Nahimi Francesca De Rosa with honors. Nature Rain Fry. Samira Guadalupe Garcia Infante with honors. Jessely Prate Gomes. Alyssa Marie Horseman. Michelle Nguyen Ka with honors. Melanie Elizabeth Magoon with honors. Carolina Jasmine Marius with honors. Alyssa Michelle McCarthy. Kara Elizabeth McFadden with honors. Kiana Michelle with honors. Kelly Matala Pineda. Alessandra Joanne Sarno. Anna Beatrice Serodio. <laughs> Elizabeth Serret Fernandez with honors. Oh, Isabella Serret Fernandez with honors. Thank you, Isabella. Cora Ann. St. Laurent. I got it right? Oh. Colin. Oh, uh, this will be presented by Mr. Tom Polito again of the District School Committee Dedham Representative for HVAC or Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration. Colin Thomas Bannock. Daniel James Bosworth. Audrey Faith Cusack. Vincent DeSalvo II. Ryan Patrick Galvin. Cody Michael Jones. Brian Michael Littlewood with honors. Tristan Anthony McDonough. Luke Philip Reynolds. Michael Reinhardt. Caitlin Monica Trainer. Metal Fabrication and Joining Technologies. Michael Chester Diotti. 
Tayuri. Tayuri. Nicholas Joseph DeSantis. Elise Renee Hernandez. Steve Martin George. Matthew James McLaughlin. Michael James Mercer. Paul Francis Pungitori. Good evening, members of the class of 2022 District School Committee, Senator Timothy, Blue Hills staff, administrators, family members, and friends. The only class of 2022 that Blue Hills will ever have. You did it. You are an amazing group of seniors. You are resilient and have proven you can handle stress and hardship. You came in here at the tail end of a building renovation project and my last year as principal. Six months into your sophomore year, we pivoted into Chrome booking, virtual learning, Google Meets, and Zoom meetings. You experienced so much. The shift from school being canceled to online learning was a struggle for some of you. For others, it gave you time and space to create and learn about things that interested you. You adapted and became stronger during unprecedented and uncertain times. Some of you learned never to take your health or the opportunity to be with family, friends, or loved ones for granted. Please take a moment to reflect on all that you have achieved and appreciate the memories, opportunities, and connection that Blue Hills has given to you. Still, all of you bonded by dealing as a group with the upheavals and changes brought about by a crazy global pandemic. You kept your chins held high and kept smiling. You were upbeat, you rarely complained, and you maintained a positive attitude and a great sense of humor. These are the traits of truly successful young adults. During these last two and a half years, you have learned, lost, loved, lived, and laughed. It was tough. It was extraordinary. It was fun. And you will take these precious memories with you that you made at Blue Hills for the rest of your life. Soon you will put what you learned at Blue Hills to the test by continuing your education or entering the workforce or joining the military. But I know you will surpass all expectations no matter which path you choose as you soar to new heights. From the bottom of my heart, this is one of the best classes I have ever seen at Blue Hills. You made others feel welcome by happily bringing them into your circle. You extended your kindness to them because you wanted to, not because we told you to. That is an achievement to be very proud of. Warriors always do the right thing even when no one is watching. You have made us all very proud today. Remember the people who helped you get where you are, your teachers, coaches, staff, mentors, administrators, family, and friends. If they are here, give them a special hug today. Today means a lot to them too. 
They were right beside you every step of the way for all of your schooling. And if they are not with us any longer, honor them by remembering them today. As this amazing chapter comes to a close, you are on your way to writing a new chapter. So make it great as you build your life. Your diploma and certifications that you earned are the keys to be for better opportunities. Thank you for your lively, curiosity, unforgettable personalities, and for leaving Blue Hills better than you found it. Congratulations and best wishes to you all. And lastly, I have a message from your principal, Mr. Jeff Zini. So I will read this to you. To the class of 2022, first, I want to say how truly sorry I am for not being able to attend graduation tonight. In a strange way, it's probably fitting that things didn't go quite according to plan for this class that has been so affected by COVID. We just welcomed a baby girl into our family about a week late, and, I am, and so I am not able to be here tonight. On the plus side, you get the shortest graduation speech ever from your principal. I have been so very proud of your accomplishments and perseverance over the past four years. You are a class that will not be forgotten. You've helped us resurrect our homecoming and prom normal lunch routines, athletic events, the senior art show, and smiling again at one another. And through all of it, you have taken the changes, challenges, and frustrations with a maturity that will serve you well in your next adventure. With that, congratulations to the amazing class of 2022. Blue Hills is a better place because of you. Will the class of 2022 please stand? <laughs> Students, move your tassels from the right to the left. I am honored to be the first one to congratulate all of you. You are now graduates of the Blue Hills Regional Technical School. <laughs> class dismissed. books.